Most of the subsurface projects are based on scattered data from boreholes and other exploration methods. One of the challenges we may face when predicting properties using QGIS is that the data needs to be spatially interpolated, and 3D interpolation is problematic with QGIS. QGIS has been primarily designed to create maps and in general handle 2D geospatial data, which may be sufficient when building simple models consisting of only interfaces. If we want to know how a property like shear strength is distributed in the subsurface we need to be able to interpolate it in 3D. Probably one of the simplest ways is to upload data into ParView and use 3D DLNA triangulation. The result would be a tetrahedral mesh with data points at nodes and linear interpolation between them. Data points from boreholes are usually sparse, and the property distribution calculated through triangulation may not be smooth. Even more blocky result we will get when we use point-to-volume interpolator with Voronoi kernel algorithm. Here property values are spread even across each Voronoid cell with initial data points at the center of each cell. Voronoi diagram is a mathematical algorithm which divides an area into sections, where each section is closest to a certain data point. This method may only be useful as an approximation when data points are densely distributed. If we are satisfied with the result of 3D DLNA triangulation we may resample it with either resample to image or resample with dataset filters and export it as a CSV format point set for upload and analyses in QGS. We may increase the offset in the properties of interpolation to smoothen the distribution. Nevertheless, it is worth remembering that properties tend to drastically change at strata boundaries. For example, the porosity of gravel is very different from that of clay. This sudden change at interfaces may not be reflected by the vertical interval between samples taken from boreholes. To account for this vertical change, we can assign the properties to lithology and divide the data into subsets interpolating them separately. I am back in QGIS to extract the datasets corresponding with each lithostratigraphic group. First, however, I am inspecting each borehole. In order to introduce stronger contrasts at the interfaces, I have decided to experiment with the data and duplicate tests at the interface between the quaternary and the Pleistocene deposits. I am assigning lower strength values to the weaker quaternary layer. This way the vertical extent of the mechanically weaker zone is increased and a strong property contrast added at the interface. Each dataset I am saving separately as a CSV file. I am uploading all lithostratigraphic layers exported from QGIS and applying the same workflow as before. First converting text table it into points, next interpolating each of the subsets using 3D DLNA triangulation. Then I am applying resample to image filter to every interpolated subset. Finally, I am using convert to points filter to create a point set from from each of the resampled subsets. Points with values of zero are filtered out using threshold filter. After then by using append datasets I can reassemble all subsets into one point set and apply 3D triangulation to it again converting it into layered property volume.
3D interpolation is necessary in the last phase of constructing geological models. To build 3D geological objects or populate the model with parameter values we need to step outside the capabilities of GIS. We will continue exploring this and other aspects of open source geomodeling, thank you and I hope to see you again. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.